Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, me! At Madame Tussauds, Washington, D.C., joining the ranks of other historical figures, presidents, and civil rights leaders is none other than comedian Stephen Colbert. Because being cast in wax is true immortality as long as the earth is not in any way getting warmer. Before the unveiling, Colbert expressed gratitude to the museum. I want to thank everyone at Madame Tussauds for the honor of becoming the latest Waxican American. With his Comedy Central camera crew in tow, Colbert switched in and out of character at the unveiling, but once that curtain came down, it was love at first sight. <laughs> this is what it's like to be with me. Then, a tongue lathering. <laughs> Outside the museum, a crowd gathered hoping for a sighting or even a picture, each of them claiming to be his biggest fan. I said, oh my God, I've got to find where this is. None of his fans were more excited than Dana Tiger visiting D.C. from Oklahoma. It's like a miracle. He's in this building right here, and I'm out here outside where I'm just, I'm, I'm, my skin is crawling with happiness. Inside, Colbert was busy filming scenes for an upcoming episode and basking in the glory, knowing his friend John Stewart has no wax lookalike. And just absolutely burning with jealousy that he doesn't have a wax figurine. The museum's artist took more than 250 precise measurements, and Colbert donated his own clothes and accessories, even provided the exact prescription of his eyeglasses, ensuring what he calls 100% accuracy. I'm happy to say, down to every freckle, every wrinkle, every hair, I even sent them a DVD of my latest colonoscopy. What does this mean to your career, do you think? It's, uh, it's fun. Like if, 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 if there are people who actually would like to have their photograph taken with a fake version of me, that means I should be able to charge people to take photographs with the real version of me. In Northwest, Mike Kinnean, News Channel 8.